a world where Stanford has replaced Harvard as the most sought after college in the country and the tech world is the new Wall Street, meet Disney Animation and Marvel's new superhero team for our time, Big Hero 6. Let's meet the six, starting off with their leader, Hiro Hamada. Imagine, if you will, that Peter Parker and Tony Stark had a love child. Hey, this city is half San Francisco after all. And speaking of half and half, we have our first mixed race lead character and not just an animated Disney movie, but any movie, finally representing a heck of a lot of awesome kids out there. But Hero doesn't stop making history there, as he's also the first Asian lead in any mainstream non-martial arts film ever to come out of Hollywood. You had your chance, Godzilla, and you missed it. Hero is half Caucasian and half Japanese, as yes, the land of the rising sun is rising over Hollywood, or more specifically, Disney Animation. Frozen is the biggest grossing film in Japan of all time. Hero is half Tony Stark because he not only builds his own superhero armor, but also for the rest of the team, including Jarvis, uh, I mean Baymax. And the Peter Parker angle is that these are a bunch of science students, plus Hero doesn't have your typical superhero physique. He even needs a robot nurse, Baymax, for some reason yet to be explained. Hero is voiced by a real-life teenager who is really half Caucasian and half Japanese, Nickelodeon star Ryan Potter, which must kill Disney as they do have their own kitty star factory. Looks like Harry is no longer the only Potter in Hollywood, as Ryan already has a growing tween fan base, with this movie surely set to push him to the next level. And Ryan is a bit of a superhero himself, trained in martial arts and founding a charity organization to help homeless kids, as well as supporting gay marriage because he says he knows what it feels like to be bullied and doesn't want that for anyone. Next up, chemistry student Honey Lemon. Ah, that's where the trademark Peter Parker glasses went. Honey is living proof that girly girls can like and excel at science too. And before you say that's pure fantasy, please note that Genesis Rodriguez, who voices Honey, studied science and robotics in school for reals. But while Honey can whip up all kinds of reactions in her lab, her own personal metamorphosis, Science Talk for Character Arc, is said to be one of the most impressive in the movie. Now, as we've learned, every bubbly Anna needs a stoic Elsa, so enter Gogo Tamago. Gogo, who the filmmakers describe as a female Clint Eastwood, don't need no character arc. In fact, at first, she's the only one who knows what she's doing when it comes to superheroics. And while Hero designs her super suit, he incorporates this industrial engineering student's own levitation technology. And Gogo can do more than just go, as these magnetic levitation disks can also act as throwing stars and hopefully boomerangs, as I imagine you can only kinda go with less than four wheels. Gogo is voiced by Jamie Chung, no stranger to playing strong, silent female warriors for Disney. Now, because science students don't only hang out with science students, and because Disney would like non sciencey kids to dream of being a part of this team, let's turn our attention to the members of the team with other interests. In the comics, Wasabi no Ginger is a sushi chef, which must mean he's good with a knife. So Hero builds him these plasma blades. But even though these blades can cut through anything, Wasabi is the most cautious of the bunch. Good thing nobody can freak out as hysterically as the Wayans, and Damon Wayans Jr. voices our young sous chef. Then, what comic book movie would be complete without a comic book fanboy? Meet Fred, who pilots Fredzilla, a Jaeger. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, Del Toro, but you can't copyright huge kaiju fighting robots. Speaking of kaiju, sure enough, Fred is a fan, but his voice actor T.J. Miller starred in the other movie this summer that ended up being bigger than Godzilla, Transformers 4. Can he deliver the same kaiju beatdown as a part of Big Hero 6? Thankfully, in his Jaeger, this white man can jump and breathe fire. Finally, there's Baymax, Hero's very own Iron Giant. But instead of Vin Diesel's smooth baritones, Baymax has the voice of 30 Rock, Scott Adzit. But don't worry, Adzit can not only pack an emotional punch while still tickling your funny bone, but he's a real-life fanboy. Adzit has a strong relationship with Cartoon Network's Adult Swim, where he's voiced many a character on shows he's helped create. And he's super friends with Marvel Comics as well, so much so that you've surely seen his alter ego, Shield Agent, in the pages of Deadpool. So so what do you think of Disney Animation's Big Hero 6, a.k.a. Fast and Furious Jr.? Any favorites already, or do you need to see these guys in action? Be sure to share your thoughts down below, and thanks for watching Beyond the Trailer Disney. Hope to see you again real soon, and the best way to do that is subscribe.